Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I'm gonna bring you a video, more homesteading video than a prepping video, but this is a uh, lazy man's way of getting compost. Uh, what we have here is this is the enclosure for the chickens and it's on a slight hill. So everything in their chicken yard comes down here eventually, be it leaves, be it uh, their poop, whatever. It eventually will run its way down here and it will collect against this fence. This fence, is right to here and that should be four foot and it's barely three so we have about a, a good foot of good earth lower than us as you can see this is pretty flat it used to not be that flat um, but over time it builds up and so what you can do every year is come down here near springtime and steal some of the dirt and this dirt has composted the chickens have definitely worked through it uh, looking for bugs uh, a lot of worms down in here because it's moist because of these Leland cypresses and all the shade around it. So it's a good place for insects, a good place for worms. So right now, a lot of times, um, I will take the blower and I can blow the chicken yard and just get them all the way down here and it will be lots of leaves. And over the course of the year, they break them down and then nat nature breaks it down. And now I can come in here and get a bunch of buckets. Uh, probably, I don't know, 20, 30 good buckets. Now to me in South Carolina, that is excellent dirt because our dirt is red, but that is brown. So I will go all the way around here and then up the whole side as far as I can. And that is the lazy man. So really it takes no effort. Nature does it all. The rain brings everything down to the lowest point and this is some good dirt. So. If you're planning a homestead, try to incorporate anything you can do to collect it. Now on this, you probably can't see, I have this material on here because it's six foot tall. I don't want the chickens flying over. But as you can see right here, that is poultry netting. Um, so what that does is it catches all the leaves and as soon as it catches the leaves, it then catches everything. So that is useful on the bottom and it does a few things. It catches everything and before I put the black stuff up, it helped keep the chickens in a little bit. Now granted, it was way down there. Right now it's only sticking up about 12 inches. But anything you can do to come up with good soil, that is 90% of growing. If you don't have good soil, uh, good nutrition for the plants, you can't do anything. You have to use then commercial fertilizers. Uh, and if I can use a natural means to grow vegetables, I will. Now, what's coming up in our future, uh, I will be using whatever I have. And I did stock up some fertilizer and put that back just in case I have to, uh, probably next year, increase my garden spots to grow more food. Be it more expensive to buy it at the grocery store or maybe just because of scarcity, it might not be available. So start thinking, even if you can't have a garden this year, can you put in a compost area? Can you put in something that will catch if you have a, on a hilly property? Can you catch all that good stuff that washes down and let it start decomposing and decaying and becoming good soil? The lazy way. Thanks for watching.